We had a client in Muscat enrolled into our program. They were to pay us 79,000 bucks for our leadership program. But by mistake, by mistake, they credited our account. I put the company's name from Muscat here. By mistake, they credited our account with how many millions? 11 million. 11 million bucks got credited. This is seven years ago. It came to close to half a million Singapore dollars, half a million dollars credited in our account by mistake. Folks, only happened once in 40 years. That's it. <laughs> only once in 40 years. And now our accountant checks the balance and uh, he walks into my office and says, we become rich. He said, by mistake, so-and-so has credited our account with 11 million bucks. And he asked me, what should we do with this money? Folks, let me ask you, doesn't he know what is to be done with the money? Yes, no? Why is he asking me? He's checking my integrity. So I asked him, I said, my friend, I do travel quite a bit. Supposing I am not in the office, and if this happened, what would you do? What am I doing? What am I doing? Checking his integrity. Folks, we need to do that permanently. So, first thing was, call them, let them know, because they don't even know about it. After we end, then instruct the bank and get the money reversed, that's all. After we inform them, it's a billion dollar company, but anyway, half a million is a half a million. Frantically, we started getting calls from them. So we told them, my friend, why are you so bothered? We are the one who informed you, you didn't know about it. Give it 10 minutes, it'll be done. It only totally takes, by the way, 10 minutes, no more. After we sent the money back, we asked them, why were you so frantic? They said, because this part of the world, the legal system doesn't work, nothing works, we were concerned. Will we get the money? If we will get the money? When we will get the money? Who knows you will keep it for so long? We don't know. And then the amount involved was a little on the higher side. Folks, our manager wrote a note to them and said, look, all our programs are based on integrity. And we make it a point to practice in our office also. And Integrity does not change with the amount involved because if it changes with the amount involved, it only means we have no integrity, our price is different, yes, no. Meaning our price is different. Now folks, I must confess, when we talk of values and integrity, I must confess, I am not 24 karat pure. I don't know of anybody who is 24 karat pure. But folks, would you agree with me? There's a huge difference between 22 karat and 8 karat, yes, no. Massive. Now, does that mean I'm happy staying at 22 karat? No, you keep striving to reach 24. Are you with me?